Oh wow, he arises from the deep with another tier ranking video. Who who saw this coming? You're actually wrong. I made this two years ago. As you can see in the timestamp in the bottom right, it says July 19th, 2022. I made this two years ago. It was going to be a Patreon exclusive. Never set up my Patreon. I was scared to, to show my opinions online, but uh, I haven't been able to give you guys anything in a very long time. Very depressive episode, but we're getting out of that here soon. So, uh, in the meantime, while I finish scrubbing through the rest uh, of the five hours that I have for the Curse of Blackmore Manor video, here is a Phoenix Wright uh, tier ranking video for the characters of the first game. So, I hope you enjoy, and I hope to be able to get that other video out as soon as possible. And in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this Patreon exclusive that is now uh, a public exclusive. So, this is a Geyser Pop original <laughs> from two years ago, so enjoy. Hello everybody and welcome to a tier ranking video for a game released in 2001. I'm sure I'm gonna get some views on this. Um, <laughs> I just recently played through the first Phoenix Wright game, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney for the 3DS. Uh, I did the 3DS trilogy. Hopefully I'm gonna be playing uh, the next two here recently. I was just gonna take a little break after I pretty much binged uh, the first game over the course of like a week and a half very enjoyable game franchise. I tried to play it a few times back in the day when I was younger, but it just didn't click to me during that time. I didn't really enjoy it all too much. I just did a 50-minute uh, recording session of this tier list already, and I went back to begin re-watching the video, and I uh, realized that my mic was halfway unplugged, um, so it was staticky as f and almost completely unusable because of the audio, so... Pretty much have a good idea of where everybody's gonna go now. It's not gonna be super genuine. It's not gonna be as genuine as it was, but I will try my best to uh, have the same amount of energy. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I do have a victims tab. As you can see, it is 4.17 in the morning. Um, like I said, I, I just did this, so hopefully. It won't take as long this time and I'll be able to have a better uh, idea of what I want to say about these characters. Um, there are going to be spoilers for the game. Uh, they're not going to be super big spoilers. Yeah, they're going to be huge spoilers actually. Um, <laughs> so be mindful of that if you do want to play the games. I highly suggest it. I feel like a lot of people would enjoy it if they just gave it a chance. It is very accessible nowadays. Um, you can play it on Steam, uh, 3DS Trilogy. Nintendo DS games, uh, you can you can play it almost anywhere. So it's, it is a really good game series. I feel like a lot of people should try it out at least. The only reason I do have a victims tab, of course, is because we don't really know a lot about these characters other than what people say about them. Um, they don't get next to any screen time. So uh, we've got Robert Hammond, Sidney Stone, uh, Detective Goodman, Jack Hammer, gets murdered in this game. Uh, Edgeworth's dad, Gregory Edgeworth. Yeah, he's a victim. You're a victim! Mm. And Neil Marshall. I believe that's all the victims. Um, I, I would put Neil Marshall somewhere if I knew more about him. He seems like a cool character. But yeah, I think that's everybody. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get started. We got uh, Angel Star. I really liked her character design. Uh, oh, and I, I will explain the ranking real quick. I am going to be putting people on the list um, in their general area, and then near the end of the video I'm going to go back through and do my specifics, like, above or below people. I feel like that's a good way to, you know, quantify and end the video. Um, we're going to start with Angel Star. She was a past detective. Uh, the cough up queen. It was a cool character design. She's a lunch lady. Uh, she hands out a lot of food. The the joke gets really old really quickly. I'll be honest, but um, she. I don't like her attitude. Uh, but I will put her in B tier just for her character design. She's a cool character at least. Um, a lot better than some of the other characters in this game. But I'm probably going to put her at B tier for right now, because I do. She gave us a lot of trouble during 
the investigation and like lied on the stand and tell us about a five minute blackout and her fucking testimony. Just one of those type of characters. So we're gonna put her at B tier. Uh, we have April May. April May, straight F. I do not like her character. Uh, she is a reverse simp type person who just gets people to simp for her. So she does think like, so she's able to do things. Very annoying. She helps get my girl Mia killed, taps her phone. Yes, she is working for a, a haughty ass guy. We'll go ahead and grab him too. Fucking Red White, the CEO of Blue Corp. Oh my God, I hate this character. Both of these characters are just, ugh, I, I don't like them at all. Um, there's not even really much to say about them other than they're just annoying, like power hungry characters. More, uh, Red White is more of the power hungry character. She's just more of a, I don't want to say ditzy, cause like, I don't want this to be like such a expected tier list, but like a ditzy fucking character who tries to get men to do things for her all the time. It gets really annoying. I don't like that character design. Um, we have the bellboy from the Gatewater, I think it's Gatewater. Yeah, the gate, this is the bellboy at the Gatewater, uh, hotel. Not motel, hotel. Um, he is a strange character. I, I like him because, uh, you know, server respect and everything, but, um, he seems like a bi icon. He, he does simp over April May, so that gets a little annoying, but uh, he also helps Edgeworth and all that shit, so I don't know. He ends up being the manager of the Gatewater Mo uh, Hotel, so hell yeah, fucking power to him. But I'm probably going to keep him comfortably at C for right now. Um, just not much to say about him. I don't even know if they give him a name. They don't give him a name, so I wish they did. So C tier character, um, we have Cody Hackings, who is a kid character. So uh, you kind of, I, I usually don't like kid characters at all. Um, they can be very annoying very easily, but surprisingly, I didn't, uh, I didn't find this kid too annoying. I really liked his character. He was a realistic character. You know, we're able to get information out of him just by trading cards with him. Like, it was a very, you know, he was a struggle bus to begin with, you know, trying to work with him and it did get annoying at times, but it was a very realistic kid character who does end up helping you and thinking that you're a pretty cool person, so. It's a pretty cool character, you know, it's very surprising for me to like a kid character at all, so we're gonna keep him at B. Um, Vaquez, I can't even remember her first name, D. Vaquez. I don't know if her name is a pun at all, and I wish I did, but I, I don't, I don't get her, her name, D. Vasquez, that Va, Vas, Vasquez. Uh, kind of a hollow character is probably the best way to put it. She has ties with the Mafia. Pretty cool. Um, like an aristocrat character. Uh, but, you know, the aristocrat, the aristocrat thing can only take you so far. Um, she was very rude and annoying to talk to in most cases. Wouldn't even kind of directly speak to you. So it does get old. But I do like her character design, so I'm probably going to keep her about B. Um, and I am probably going to speed run the main characters real quick. So Detective Gumshoe, um, Detective Gumshoe, I'm probably going to put at A tier. He's a bumbling idiot. He tries and helps you as best as he can in most cases, but he's just not the brightest person, not the sharpest tack in the box, but I really like his character design. Um, pretty funny. Uh, pretty relatable, honestly. Uh, pretty cool character all around. I, I like him for the most part. I'm gonna put him in A tier. Uh, same can be said, not not the same can be said for Miles Edgeworth, but um, same tier at least can be said about Miles Edgeworth. I think he's a pretty cool character. Um, I wish he broke a little bit earlier in the game, because uh, you know we we are clearly a good friend of his, uh, even though he decided to put distance between us and our relationship and blah 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 but
but I think he's a pretty cool character, a very smart character. Um, you know, just trying to be a genuine, honest guy, just prosecutor of the law, and kind of just has a lot of people come at him for no reason. Um, I like him personally a good amount. A solid A character. Um, Phoenix Wright himself definitely has main character syndrome for sure. Um, just kind of boring. Not, I don't want to say he's boring, but it's kind of a lifeless. Damn, like, I don't know the best way to, like, describe some of these characters, because, like, yes, he's the main character, and, you know, we're with him for most of the game, and I don't really have an issue with him at all, per se, but, um, I don't know. Just one of those, like, it's hard to really like a, a main character all the time, especially in a game like this. Um, but I think he's a well-designed character. I feel like he, uh, he fought for a lot of the stuff that he has. Um, I don't know. B tier? I'm okay with a B tier. Um, Emma Sky is gonna be our first S tier character. I really like Emma Sky. Um, she has been through a lot and she does not let that get to her. She still wants to be a scientific investigator. She help us. She helps us out tremendously during the fifth case. Um, and I guess I can kinda, I'm gonna go ahead and just do these two in tandem. Cause I mean, they are very similar. Um, we end up losing Maya around the fourth case cause she wants to go back to spirit training. Um, and when we did lose her after that fourth case, I was so worried about who my little helper character was gonna be and when Emma Sky was introduced, I could tell within the first like two minutes that I was going to absolutely love this character. Uh, both of them are just very bright headed, uh, you know, child, not child, cause it's like upper teens, but um, just really good helper characters. It's really hard to get annoyed by either of them. They're both pretty funny. Um, most of their like funny, you know, moments come from naivety. Um, which I think is cute in most cases. It was very, it was very, it was a breath of fresh air having Emma come in for sure. Um, but both characters are like S tier for sure. Um, the judge in all of the proceedings, he gets fucking annoying in my case. I don't know, I just feel like he doesn't understand his own power. Um, I hated how Von Karma was pretty much controlling him, like in the courtroom. If I was a judge, I would shut that, that shit down so quickly. I don't know. It was just strange to see that. About probably like a C-tier character. Not much to say about him, really. Uh, he's not the brightest character in the game at all. Uh, the amount of times that we really had to just like spell it out for him was very annoying to me. Um, but I don't know. Probably a C-tier character. Uh, Frank saw it was the witness in the first case. Um, and I would put him at F tier just because of how annoying his character type is. But I'm gonna put him at D tier just for his name. <laughs> it's a really good pun, Frank, Frank saw it. I like it. Um, we'll keep him right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just move him close to the end, which probably spoils uh, where I am gonna put him on the ranking. But we'll see when we get there. Um, Grossberg, Marvin Grossberg. Marvin Grossberg is a veteran defense attorney and Mia's mentor. Um, I really like this character. I feel like he was a really relatable character. I feel like I know this guy. I know three different versions of this guy. Um, he does his best to help us in the cases that we do talk to him. He is actually a reoccurring character for a few of the cases. I want to say a few, if I'm remembering correctly. I, I think we go see him in three of the cases, which is like pretty surprising because I thought he was just going to be a side character for the second case, but we do end up going back and seeing him multiple times. I like him. I think he's a, a pretty charming character, um, and I'm fine putting him in A tier. Jake Marshall is a character who I would expect to not like a whole lot. I really expected to not really like Jake Marshall. But, um, 
you know, the whole cowboy act does get a little old. He is kind of a one-note character in all honesty. But I don't know. It was like, you know, the characters that really go into like their character type and character whatever is very cool to me. It's very funny. Um, and he really goes in on the cowboy act. Um, I'm probably am going to slip him into an A-tier character. I I think it's a cool character design. I don't I don't care. Um, and the fact that like everything that he's done in the past few years was to figure out if um, trying to figure out the truth of like his brother's death is kind of commendable, honestly. Um, he was very close to his brother, and he just wanted to make sure that you know everything was investigated correctly. So I'm probably am going to slip him in A tier. Um, I hope that's not controversial by any means. Uh, but I will say it does get old. His character type does get old for sure. But he does end up dropping the whole like high and mighty act near the end. Um, I think he's a commendable guy, honestly. So I'm going to put him in A tier. Prosecutor Sky, Lana Sky. She... Very bright woman. She's a chief prosecutor. She was a investigator detective uh, two years ago during her during the what is the SO9 case? I think that's the one. Lana Sky is uh, Emma Sky's sister, um, and because of that, I was hoping to like her character a little bit more. But uh, she's kind of not helpful at all throughout the entire case. It gets a little old, honestly. Um, I don't know, kind of a one-note character. I don't know. She does end up cracking at the end. but um, And I know that she was under an immense amount of pressure uh in terms of like the so9 incident and everything so like it's kind of understandable but at the same time like they could have written her just a tiny bit better i feel like i don't know um i'm probably gonna put her in a b tier um larry butts is the friend of both uh phoenix and miles um we uh edgeworth phoenix and larry were all childhood friends um and Larry is a fucking bumbling idiot. He is supposed to be like the comic relief character of the game, but he really gets annoying to me. And the amount of times that he is brought up throughout the game gets a little old in my opinion. Um, I don't know, just a very naive, kind of a stupid character for his age. He's like 24. I believe 23, 24. Yeah, 23. <laughs> I feel like I'm being so mean to some of these characters, but probably a C tier character. I didn't really enjoy him all too much. Um, Lot of Heart is probably upper B tier character. She got that southern charm, got that southern representation, so I can't even be too mad about it. But, um, yeah, I, I liked her character. Uh, she was kind of just like a naive... God, I say naive for so many characters because, like, I feel like that's the only way to describe some of these people. Like, if your only reason to testify is because you want to be on a witness stand and you don't even have that great of a testimony, that's pretty naive to me. I don't know. Just don't involve yourself in the case. I don't know. Um, she does end up helping us a lot throughout the case. Mm -mm probably not a lot but she does help us so i do i do like her character design um her speech didn't really always um equate to southern in my book but i don't know i liked her i like the character so i'm gonna keep her at b tier upper b for sure um monfred von karma i would put this character in f just because of how shitty of a person he is. He is a prosecutor who had a completely perfect, uh, not completely perfect, because he got like penalized one time in court by Edgeworth's dad, but um, a perfectionist. He's Miles Edgeworth's uh, mentor. Um, only reason I'm gonna put him in D is just for that objection, objection line voice quip. Holy shit, it scared me the first time that I heard it.
Objection. Um, but yeah, other than that, shitty fucking man, terrible person, uh, forges evidence, all that bullshit. Um, Officer Meekins, Mike Meekins, terribly annoying character. I had him on D tier for the first tier list that I did before the fucking audio, when I realized the audio was messed up, but I'm probably just gonna put him in fucking F. He was annoying. I hated his megaphone. They did the megaphone audio way too much. It was so annoying whenever he was on the, the screen. He was supposed to be a comic relief character, I believe, but it just did not read like that at all to me. It was so annoying. He was ugh, just a terrible character, not helpful in the slightest. Um, Mia Fey was our mentor. Uh, I feel like we lost her a little bit too early. I would love to see more of her. I hate putting her above Phoenix just because of the fact that, you know, she, we had such little screen time. But considering the fact that she also literally helps us in most of the cases after her death, um, I think it's fine putting her in A tier. Um, very bright woman, very smart, and I'm pretty sure people are going to be upset about this pick for other reasons. Um, they probably think she's supposed to be an S, but like I said, if she had more screen time for sure, I really wish we had one more case with her, but I am gonna put her in A tier. Um, I actually had to look up who this was supposed to be because it confused me because I feel like we saw Joe Dark, like his actual face, but I am gonna put him in F. He was a serial killer who went crazy and like killed a bunch of people just because he was trying to cover up some shit. Uh, it's kind of hard to put him above F tier because of that reason. He ended up getting executed for his crimes, so can't be too mad at him. Uh, no, you can be pretty mad at him, but at least they didn't let him live or whatever. I don't know. I, um, I don't know. Strange character. We'll keep him in F. Um, Misty Faye is the mom of both Mia and Maya. Um, she was... A spirit medium in the SL9 case who was uh, commissioned by the police force to try and figure out who killed uh, Edgeworth's father. She ended up, you know, talking to Edgeworth's father and gave them a false, you know, reading or whatever. But, you know, you figure more out about that during the case. I would put her a little bit higher. We just don't know much about her throughout the game, like not much is said about her and she abandoned her family, so fuck her for that. Um, so probably D tier character. Um, then we have the assistant from the Steel Samurai case. Her name is Penny Nichols. Um, I really liked this character. She was very helpful, uh, just a bright young lady. Um, she was actually, I didn't realize this until I looked up the wiki, but she's actually 18 years old. Um, it did not feel like she was an 18 year old character. She really did help a lot. She gave us good testimonies, good evidence and everything. Um, just a good all around A tier character. Uh, we have the director from the Steel Samurai case, uh, Sal Manella. Sal Manella. <laughs> I... If this was a character that was made in 2022, I would hate this character. It would be so overplayed, so annoying. But since this is a game from 2001, like I can't even, I can't even really be mad about it. I kind of really liked his character, honestly. Uh, he spoke in internet lingo for most of the time, which is, you know, like I said, if it was a character from nowadays, it would be annoying. But since it is a character from like way back in the day, I'm not even mad about it. He's one of the, com the comic relief characters that I actually was comically relieved by. I, I really like this character. Um, I probably want to keep him in B tier. Uh, we have Wendy Oldbag, <laughs> who is the security guard during the Steel Samurai case. And I feel like this is going to be a very controversial pick. Um, I think she's high A tier. I really like this character. Her ramblings uh where she would just go on and on about how stupid children were was so funny i i hate how relatable this character is um i really like this character she's definitely high a tier for me um she did get in the way a lot she does end up cracking and like helps us out a little bit more near the end of the case but i'm completely fine keeping her in a tier i think she's a very good character um we have will powers 
who is the defendant for the uh, Steel Samurai case. And this is gonna be another one of the controversial ones. Um, I'm putting him in the S tier. He... <laughs> now hold on, put your put pitchforks down, put it down. I know we don't see a lot of this character throughout the game, um, but I like him. I really like him. He was a very sweet character. He was a star to a lot of children, you know, he says that he just does it a lot for the kids and uh, just a sweet guy, just genuinely just helpless throughout most of the case and tries his best to help us as best as we can. Um, I liked his character design. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, S tier character, I really liked him. Uh, Winston and Payne is the prosecutor for the first um, case in the game. He's a prosecutor. Uh, there's really not much to say about him. You only see him for one case. Um, a bit annoying, honestly. But, you know, what prosecutor isn't in the game? So I'm just going to keep him at about C. I feel neutral. Like, I don't have anything against him or for him. So I'll keep him right there. Uh, we have the caretaker, or Yanni Yogi. He is a part of the DL6 incident with Edgeworth's father. Um, he was convicted, not convicted, but he was a suspect during that case, and he had to plead insanity, pretty much, uh, due to oxygen deprivation. Um, I figured out this character a little bit earlier than I probably should have for it to be a good twist, because... Uh, pretty much as soon as we got kicked out of his place and he instantly locked the door, um, I realized that it was just, he was playing an act. Um, and you know, it was probably written for you to realize that at that point, but, uh, it did last for a little bit too long. It was a little bit of an annoying. Um, now, Polly the parrot, his parrot, I saw a complete phoenix wright character tier list that had the parrot on there but it was uh from all of the games i really wish that this one had the parrot because i really enjoyed the parrot um it was so funny that we got to put him on the witness stand and everything but uh as for yanni um probably just a c tier character uh like i said it, it does get a little old i know that he's playing a character to try and keep his demeanor up and you know he was trying to frame miles edgeworth and blah 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 and it was all orchestrated by von karma but you know i don't know it gets a little old i'm probably gonna put him at c tier um and finally we have damon gant who is the chief of police for uh this district and I am going to put him in S tier. I really liked his character design. Um, I typically don't like characters who flaunt their power in most cases. Um, they're usually typically very annoying, uh, but for some reason, I really liked it throughout most of the game. Um, <laughs> I knew the second he appeared on screen that he had a lot to do with the case. It, it pretty much all clicked in my head as soon as he appeared in the case. Um, but yeah, I think he is a very good character design. Uh, his snap at the end uh, was marvelous. I don't know, I, I really like this character. I saved him for last because I, I feel like this is gonna be a very controversial one, but I really liked his character. I think he is a very nice looking character. Very, very, very good. Very, very good. Um, but yeah, this is uh, pretty much my ranking. Uh, we're gonna go through real quick and sort out the particulars. Um, I fucking hate these two characters so much. They're both so annoying. Um, they're both gonna be down here. Um, Meekins is worse than these characters oh, damn um i am going to keep meekins about right here just because you know it's hard to i don't know man it's a fucking serial killer like 
you know, I, I need to put him all the way at the bottom, because, you know, he kills people, but, um, yeah, that's probably my F tier, it's gonna be Meekins, April May, Red White, and Joe Dark, um, very just terrible characters, I hated these characters, um, for D tier, uh, it's gonna be Frank, probably all the way at the bottom, uh, Von Karma is gonna be top of D tier just for that objection voice quip, uh, it, it's, it's a voice quip for sure, and he fucking beats his head against the wall, like, it's just, it, he's a, he's a character, he's a really good, ah, damn, damn, I hate it, he's a good character, I forgot about that, his snap is really good, um, I just hated how he treated the judge and everything, it gets annoying, but, um, yeah, anyway, here's my D tier, it's gonna be Misty Fay, and, uh, Frank saw it, for my C tier, it's gonna be, uh, let's see, let's see, I'll put the judge top of C tier, uh, the bellboy will be right under the judge, Larry, I'll put, uh, the Winston Payne all the way at the bottom, mm, yeah, we'll do it like that, well, no, we'll do it like that, that's probably my, my C tier right there, it's gonna be the judge, the bellboy, Larry Butts, uh, Von Karma, Winston Payne, and the caretaker, Yanni Yogi. And then uh, for my B tier, we are going to have... Oh, this is going to be where it starts getting a little bit harder, because these are characters that I'm really liking. Um, for my B tier, we are going to do Phoenix Wright to begin with. Um, we'll have a lot of heart next then we'll do prosecutor sky um cody above uh her i'll put her at the bottom and we'll keep angel there because you know even though she does get pretty annoying with the uh, food and everything unskippable like by the way every one of those animations just lasts so long when she's showing you food it does get annoying but that's probably my definitive B tier. It's going to be Phoenix, Lotta Heart, uh, Prosecutor Sky, Cody Hackings, um, Hackens, not Hackings, Hackens, uh, Angel Star, Salmonella, and then Vaquez. And then for my A tier, and then for my A tier, it's going to be probably Detective Gumshoe. Uh, Miles is going to be a little bit further down, just because I wish he cragged a little bit more and just started being our friend a little bit quicker. But then again, you know, I haven't played the second or third game, so this is all just my thoughts and ideas from the first one. Um, I'm going to put Wendy pretty high in A tier. Like I said, I really liked her character. I don't know what it was about her. She was just funny. I liked her. Um, Grossberg is going to be bottom of A tier. You, you know, he's not super high A tier, um, and Jake is probably gonna be, we'll do Grossberg, and then Jake, and then Penny, Nichols, and the rest. So yeah, my definitive A tier is Detective Gumshoe, Wendy Oldbag, um, Mia Fey, Edgeworth, Penny Nichols, Jake Marshall, and then Grossberg, and then for my S tier, we're gonna we're gonna have Emma Sky be best girl. She is my all-time favorite character in the game. I absolutely adored her character type. Um, and we're gonna move Damon up to my third favorite, and then Will Powers will be my fourth. So that's pretty much my definitive uh, S tier right there. Is gonna be Emma Sky, Maya Fey, Damon Gant, and um, Will Powers. Uh, so yeah. That's about it. That is my definitive ranking for all of the Phoenix Wright uh, Ace Attorney characters. Um, I hope that it's not all too controversial. Um, I definitely do have some particular feelings about some of these characters uh, in comparison to what I feel like a lot of people do have. Um, but yeah. If you would like to, uh, leave comments down below on what you think I 
should change about this tier list. Um, if you feel like I overrank somebody or underrank somebody, please explain to me why you feel that, and uh, I'll sure to be listening and respond to what you have to say. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this tier list. Anyway, I hate to cut this so short. We're at another 40 minute recording session after my first 50 minute one. So I am getting a little bit tired, but uh, yeah. So if you enjoyed the video at all, let me know, give me a like. Uh, I hate to do this, but you know, if you'd like to go ahead and subscribe. I, uh, I don't make content all too much, but I would like to get back into it. So yeah. Like I said, if you uh, enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed it in any way, shape, or form. Um, let me know if you have different opinions than me. I'd love to hear it. Um, you know, this is a game released in 2001, so I'm not expecting all too many views on this video, but hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to let me know. Uh, and I hope you guys have a great night. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.